when working on your bike it's important to uh, torque the bolts to the correct torque settings so they don't come loose and also so you don't over torque them um, some of the more critical bolts to pay attention to are the fork pinch bolts, the triple clamp bolts um, also the front axle bolts uh, the front caliper bolts, the brake caliper bolts, they need to be loctited as well also the uh, gear shift lever if you don't torque that and loctite it it can come und undone quite easily um, also uh, the rear axle bolts is obviously important and the rear shock bolts if you take the, the uh, shock off you need to loctite and um, torque to spec um, some of the smaller bolts for, for example the engine case bolts uh, you can quite easily over torque these so I always use a, a torque wrench on those as well in the KTM owner's manual in the technical data section they have uh, torque settings for all of the engine bolts and also chassis bolts um, there's the torque setting and also whether you should use Loctite I have a variety of torque wrenches uh, this one's for uh, uh, torquing the uh, spokes on the wheels um, and then the other ones go from uh, 0.4 newton meters up to 200 newton meters um, one important thing with torque wrenches is they need to be calibrated uh, periodically to ensure they're uh, accurate so I'm going to show you how I calibrate my torque wrenches you can send out your torque wrenches to the manufacturer to be uh, recalibrated but that can get expensive if you've got several torque wrenches and you probably want to do it once a year or so so what I decided to do was get a digital torque gauge uh, this one's made by AC Delco and covers a range from uh, 5 newton meters up to 20, 200 newton meters um, then I made a test fixture this is just an old half inch socket welded to some steel tube um, you can plug it into the, the test fixture and then uh, put your torque wrench on here and measure it if you've got a uh, half inch plug straight in three eighths you use an adapter and quarter another adapter so I can test any of my torque wrenches using this setup so I've mounted the digital torque gauge in the vise and I'm going to test the largest torque wrench I have which goes up to 200 newton meters but I'm going to test it at 80 newton meters because that's the setting I most often use so I apply torque slowly and that time it was 78.2 and I typically test three times and that was 78.6 and 76 so it's reading slightly under to adjust the torque wrench uh, m most torque wrenches have uh, a hole somewhere in them and they have a set screw to adjust the, uh, the torque calibration on my torque wrenches uh, if you turn it uh, clockwise it reduces the torque and if you turn it anti-clockwise it increases so this particular one it was reading slightly under so I want to uh, increase the torque so I'm going to adjust it about that much and retest it um, the adjustment really is trial and error um, so you have to adjust test if it's good leave it if it's not adjust some more Okay, so the torque wrench is still set to 80 and apply the torque slowly and that was 80.9 79.9 so it's pretty much spot on now uh, so I'm going to call that uh, calibrated to ensure that your torque wrench is staying calibration for a long period of time a few tips uh, would include 
storing your torque wrenches set to the minimum torque setting. Um, also you don't want to drop them and knock them so a case like this is a, a good idea and also don't use them as a regular ratchet drive uh, just use them for the final torque setting uh, if you do that uh, and if you have decent quality torque wrenches they should really last your lifetime